Start a class. Yes, me lord. All right. Not easy. It's very nice and cozy. It appeals to your natural denning instinct. It's under the table. Down. You're gonna feel very safe here. Off I go then. He doesn't seem convinced. Ready to work. I can't build that All right. Does Logan know any ticks? Yes, he met many of them over the summer. I made them all go away though. They were in love with his eyes, his beautiful neck. Barack Obama says you're a good boy. Good boy. Thanks Barack, my dude. Job done. Job done. Solstice, Fats, Russell, Huffle, Caruffle, <laughs> Theorema, thanks for the subs, guys. Say the word. On my way. Orders. Orders. All work. Ready for action. All right. All right. Who Say wants the word. Right. Ready to work. Yes, Move mate. It. Give me some. Do. Say the word. Wait till you see me in action. Did you see him speeding over with the Blade Master? That's why we uh, Footman Scout. When does control magic not work? Does it depend on the life of the summit unit? Yes, the current life, not the maximum. Hey, Grub. Hey, Zaza. Say the words. 
Right. Wait till you see me in action. What is it? Alright. Here's my research. I go for something to do. him away. I'm coming through. Oh, Wait till you see me in action. Yes, me lord. Off I go then. Give me something to do. Brilliant. Hold him away. What is it? Oh, Wait right. till you see me in action. Say the word. Yes, me lord. More work. Yes, me lord. Off I go yes, then. Yes, me lord. What? Hmm? Yes, me lord. Alright. Wait till you see me in action. What do you Stop need? Yes, my lady. Say the word. Done. On my way. Hmm? Wait till you see me in action. Give me something to do. Job right. done. Orders. Wait till you see me in action. What do you need? Orders. Job done. Say the word. Hmm? Brilliant. What do you need? Right. Yes, my liege. Say the word. What do you need? Yes, my liege. What do you need? Aye, my lord. All good. Right. Move it. I'm coming through. Orders? Right. What do you need? Give me something to do. Done. Say the word. Aye, my lord. Hmm? Who do you want to kill? Wait till you see me an axe. You want an axe? Oh, where's me lord? Our what? forces are under attack. Orders? <laughs> On my way. Yes, my lady. Of course. On my way. Of Yes, me lord. Can build there. What? Yes, me lord. Hmm? What is it? Ready to work. More work. More numbers is required. Give me Orders. some. Right. Ready to work. Brilliant. Wait till you see me. Say the word. Hold him away. Move it. What is it? Yes, me lord. Right. Hold him away. I'll pick up the same here. More work. Give me some. Do. Ready to work. Give me some. Say the word. Right. Wait till you see me. Job done. Right. What do you need? Orders. Three. Of course. What do you need? On my way. Give me something to do. Wait till you see me in action. What? Off I go then. Yes, me lord. More gold is required. I can't do that. All right. Aye. Brilliant. Move it. More work. What is it? I can't do that. Off I go then. Are under attack. Say the word. Give me something to do. For action. He's not very aggressive, is he? With his uh, wyverns. Action. I'm coming through. Yes, my 
Spikes, lol. He's got all his peons in the gold mine. <laughs> Of course, he would have crept most creeps already. What? Lord, right Off I go then. Where must we fly? More lumber hmm? is required. Aye. Give me something to do. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> More work. Put him away. I'm coming what through. Would you ask him? Glory to the blood elf. Prepare. Put him away. My pants are ready. Give me something to do. Glory to the blood elf. Horses are under attack. More lumber. Alright. Wait till you see me at that. Where must you fly? Ready for action. Give me something to do. I'm only human. Same. Job done. Wait till you see me at that. I am not afraid. My pants. At your call. You might have an expansion now. There's only one way to check in style. Let me face the devil. It shall be done. I'm coming through. I what would you fly. ask me? Hmm? I am not afraid. I Where what must you fly? Hmm? I think it's the research complete. Yes, my lord. All right. What is it? Right. Give me something to do. What would Take you your time. Me? Look around. I might have been based at all. Give me something to do. Orders. Say the word. Yes, my lord. Orders. Wait I'm till you see me and act. Fly. Be quick, human. I'm coming through. Give me something to do. Yeah, we got some creep camps. Prepare to fly. At your call. Wait till you see me in action. Be quick, then we face the land. Justice will be served. Give me something to do. What you ask? I? I am not afraid. Where must we face the land? I? What is it? 
More lumber is required. Guide you. Mm? My powers are me. Maybe more? We We're lucky. I am not afraid. Job done. As you wish. Give me some Give me some job done. <laughs> he bought all the cloths. I'm not. I've never seen a wyvern army win against an army like this. Let's see how it goes. Maybe if he has bloodlust, but... Do you, see, do you guys see bloodlust? I don't see it. Am I getting armor upgrade? I can't. I can't get it anymore. <laughs> Now we can go to the shop. Be quick. What is it? Right there. What? Yes, yes Lord. Job done. Job done. Yes, hammer time. Give me something to do. At your call. Our town Wait till is you under see me in Can I help you? Aye. Let me face Give it. Me Where must do. we fly? Wait till you see me in action. Wonder if he has TP. What? Yes, me lord. What word? What is it? I wait till you see me in Can I help? Aye. 
my powers are more work. Give me some food. Where Wait, must we go? What is it? Wait till you see Be me in action. All right. Hold him away. I am not. Wait till you see me in action. Where must we fly? Hmm? Be quick, human stun. Oh my Brilliant. Hold him away. I'm coming through. At the top. What is it? It shall be done. It's not even a fair fight. Human upgraded army is better than orc upgraded army in the air. Please explain what happened. He, okay, from the start, we went for a Mountain King fast expansion. Mountain King fast expansion requires mercenary camp in order to be effective. Let's just watch the replay. It's, I, I can remember the whole game, but maybe some people just tuned in. And other people, they may have more trouble visualizing what I'm saying, because it's in my head after all. MK Fixpo 203 Air. Easier to watch with the replay. Uh, and then we'll also uh, tally the hero, kill, and loss. Jedi Penguin, taste to my group. Taste to my group sub. Thank you very much. And thank you for the sub, Emerald. Alright. So, uh, first of all, the orc player went for a altar into shop. You make the shop when altar is not uh, within the final 10% of finishing. Uh, and then you can buy shop items on your way into the map. That's his build. Ready to work. Ready to work. He's like work a second late or, or just Ready in time. It also means it delays his barracks. If you compare our barracks timing, mine is finishing and his is just starting. What this means is that he can buy a speed scroll, scoot over my way on the map with a speed scroll empowered wind walk, which is so fast that it can really mess up humans mercenary camp creeping. Mountain King expansion requires mercenary camp to be effective. Otherwise, you have no counter to gargoyles, wyverns, things that tend to punish fast expo. Gargoyle and wyvern are fast flying, harassing units that can really pick apart a double base setup for someone that doesn't have an Archmage. Because you do not have Water Elemental and uh, Anti-Air Auto Attack from uh, Archmage. So he's gonna sell TP, buy triple items, quadruple in fact, Speed Scroll and then Wind Walk. This is playing at normal speed. See how fast Blade Master is. I saw that. So if I creep the 333, these three, I will only finish the Ogre before he gets there. And if I go to the mercenary camp, I could get pretty messed up. So I decided to take this rather large overforce to do a small creep camp and run no risk. That's why we met and nothing happened. Then Footman harassed to exploit his forward burrow positioning, but Grunt showed up. Okay, I can't do anything anymore. I started to make a plan that I'm probably going to be expanding pretty slowly, which is okay, because his blade will always be level 1.0. As long as I don't give him any uh, free kills. No? Don't give him free kills. He can't really creep because his grunts are so late. And his grunts had to protect his peel line. So we just gradually build up to level 2. Do a bit of creep stops. Like this. And because he has no circlet. Like if he has a circlet or something. This is a kill. Probably. Even now I only had... A small chance, let's see, 6% damage reduction on an average of what? 24 to 46 is 70, 35 average damage. Windwalk adds 40, so his average damage is 65, and the life is 70. So it's a pretty good place of stopping, but there is still uh, damage reduction, 6%. So I'd say I have like a 90% chance if I stop at 70. That without items, he... Um, at 32, right? No, no, no. no. I have like a 90% chance that he misses this. And he does. It survives with 7. So you get the creep yourself and you get Mountain King level 2. From this moment onwards, I need the mercenary camp. Uh, of course, the 70 is not something I actually look at. It's something I estimate by feeling. 
Although I'm expanding very slowly and I'm not even sure that this is really the best way of doing it, I really needed these mercs before I expand. I expected with such a harass heavy style from Blade Master that he's gonna be going for mass air. Generally, instant mass harass with speed scroll is like quite cheesy, it relies on damage and I knew he didn't get any damage on me except slowing me down. But I didn't lose a single unit or creep. So I'm gonna get a pretty strong Mountain King that trades well with whatever he has on the ground. And because I expected Wyverns, I made a Lumber Mill before upgrading to tier 2, which is actually pretty unusual. I also went Double Tower in both base because the only way Wyverns can ever win against Mountain King Fast Expo is if they bust your first tower. The Defend Footman attack was partially for information, partially to keep him away. I wish I hadn't done quite as big of a commitment. I had six footmen and I threw four of them away immediately. I did confirm the wyverns, which is kind of valuable, but I'm not sure it's worth the price of four defend footmen. However, keeping the wyverns away for a while means my towers finish. This one is 80% done, this one is 30. Had I not sent the towers, uh, had I not sent the footmen, maybe he can cancel one or two of them. Probably not, but you know, it's possible. So uh, now he's assuming that he can't burst through towers anymore. I don't know how he knows because uh, I don't think he got the scouting info. But he's assuming it's too late that I have towers already, which would be a fair bet. I'm gonna exploit the burrow positioning to keep having annoying footmen here, which will deprive him of much needed lumber income. Uh, which prevents him from going tier 3 for a tiny Great Hall counter expansion and it prevents him from putting up a Town Hall on his expansion at tier 2 with power uh, as well because he simply doesn't have enough Lumber, Gold, Peons, etc. When you get found by such a big army, you're just looking for any counter kills at all. I got one Wyvern and it's fine. Lost all my trolls. Now I have to rely on towers. I was never gonna win that fight unless I bolstered it with extra Mercs, extra trolls and maybe Rifleman as well. So now that I've lost the fight on the open, there's never anything else I can do with my Mountain King. Uh, he had Sentry Ward and he saw me walking through it and so he ambushes me. Funny thing about Hex is it actually cancels your invis when you pop out of Hex. Even though it was supposed to last another one and a half minute, it cancels so I'm in trouble. Now we can fast forward to, uh, you know, me running away and everything. He decides to finally go tier 3 for a counter expansion, but you should be aware of just how badly he messed up his economy and how badly I messed up his economy. So many peons in his gold mine, because he's like, oh my god, I need to creep and I need to defend, blah blah blah. Like, oh my god, you got 8 peons in your gold. And then you have like 5 on lumber and he lost like 2 of them to a footman. 3. His multitasking was seriously stressed. Now his resources are looking okay. He actually has enough gold for a tiny great hall, but he doesn't even get it immediately, which is a huge delay. He really should have at this point gone for a tiny great hall. And when he realizes it, he turns around, finally gets it, but that's a costly delay. So he gets the counter expansion and we're going to compare the amount of gold that we both got. He's not mining yet, mind you. So as soon as he's got like five peons in the mine, roughly, we'll show the gold difference. Still not, still not, still not. Still not, and now, now he has 5 peons in mine. So he mined 420 gold from it so far. He's at 12,080. We're at 7,400. So we already got uh, 4.6k gold extra, which is about 8 minutes worth of mining. Let's say that I wasted about 2 to 3 minutes of that in towers and items. And the rest of it is pure bank and preparation for griffins. So we are that much ahead. Um, then he went for Totem, which you really don't need, because what Totem does is it spreads damage. It has no value at all in the whole interaction of Bat Riders and um, yeah, Bat Riders and Dragon Hogs. Like it really, 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 really doesn't matter if you have Walkers. It's all about air supremacy. He already wasted so much gold and food in uh, the supply of Wind Riders, which is really bad against Dragon Hog. They get hard countered. And now I want to talk about upkeep. I stayed at 50 upkeep for an obscenely long period of time. That means I got full gold from both of the mines that I was doing. He went over 50 food really fast. 
and I talk about upkeep all the time. When you go over 50 food, you gotta make sure that that is an army that is either better than your opponents in terms of counter style, or that uh, will at least be okay the entire game. Because as soon as you go over 50, you're pretty much stuck with this army. You can make a few small additions, but it won't be really very extreme or big amounts that you can get. So him adding walkers now means that he's expecting some kind of inner fire, protection scroll, sorceress, something like that. Uh, better for him would have been the fastest possible counter expansion. Since he has map control supremacy anyway, he's got the wyverns that I couldn't counter for a period of time. He does not need bat riders now. He needs them later. And what he needs is enough peons to get a lumber bank. 50 food to get a gold bank, four bestiaries, maybe three, in order to do a big boom to go straight over 50. He does not need walkers. Maybe he won't walker anyway, but he should just prepare to upgrade, but don't make any yet, or make sure that there's space for one walker in a 50 food uh, army so that he can dispel protection scroll. And then suddenly at the right time, keep scouting, keep scouting. Is the human's army growing yet? Has he gone over 50 yet? Well, you pop in with the blade, you see the aviaries, they got the blue shine in their eyes, they got the blue shine in their chest. Okay, this aviary is producing, this army plus peasants looks about like a 50 food army. Okay, he's going over 50. Boom, you start your own bat rider production, as many as you can from triple bestiary, with whatever bank you saved up. Generally, an orc will need at least 2000 gold to save up uh, against an army of this size. Also, when he played Master Scouts, he should be clicking Dragon Hawk Riders and see, hey, three armor upgrade. Okay, it's a late 80 plus food po uh, push. If he sees 1-1, one, 1-0, one, one, zero, zero, one, it's going to be a quick push with maybe 65 plus food. But this is going to be 80 plus. So he knows he can really milk that 50 food period and go for the Bat Riders uh, very late, not early. So, um, yeah. Now he would be going mass bats. And then instead of having like, I don't know what he had, a 75 food army at the very most, or maybe 70, he would have had 85. And it would still be close because so much of his food is wasted. Grunt, worthless. Wyverns, almost worthless. So he's 69 food, he's getting one burrow, but you see, he doesn't really, look at his gold. It's not really flowing in, you see. You've got that whole upkeep thing. You still need to make a burrow. So, okay, that costs you something. We're under attack. And then, oh yeah, I still need an upgrade. So generally you want to get all these upgrades while you're still on no upkeep so that they are essentially cheaper still. Uh, one thing that Orc can actually do is get a Goblin Tinker third We're against this. Play. Goblin Tinker's rockets are a one second stun on virtually no cooldown. And it can actually hit air as well in a decently sized area. If he hits that on my dragon hogs after I shackle, that would be one and maybe the only way for him to actually get a bit of value out of these wyverns. Wyverns do really good damage type against griffins, so they would help if they were able to attack. Another thing he could do is alchemist. Alchemist acid bomb, very useful. Can attack air, makes bat riders explosion do more damage. But finally, here we are, big army. I kill a few workers and eventually we TP and he ran away. Okay, fine. I'm gonna attack him in his base. And here's the thing, we have 88 food. He's got 70 still. Hey, that seems familiar. 70 food, he had that three minutes ago. That's what happens when you go over 50 immediately. Uh, you, you get stuck at a certain supply count. That's why sometimes when people watch my stream and they say, why do you stay at 50 so much? If you make a bigger army, aren't you just gonna kill them? Well, sometimes you can't because you don't have the correct unit type yet. And you need to get that first. Get everything ready and then boom, you're ready. Okay, let's go. Dark Ranger Silence is not better than Goblin Rockets because you only get the one Dracon. And also, uh, Goblin Tinker gets like five. So that's way better, especially against groups of Hawks that split like I did. And then uh, Dark Ranger also dies very quickly because Paladin can Holy Light her. Oops. So here we are. Uh, all of our hawks have 11 armor, which is a damage reduction of 40%. And funnily enough, that works on uh, bat riders as well. So you watch this bat, right? 
This bat has accelerated to become not a unit. You can't click him anymore in this one as well. This is actually a really clear look at him. He is absolutely having a go at this hawk. So this hawk has 641 life and is taking the full brunt of a of a bat rider, which normally is about what is it, 575 damage or something? I think it insta kills a wyvern, so it probably does like 575 damage. So this hawk normally should be down to uh 80 life right but because of the 11 armor oh he actually did not explode sorry i'm looking at the wrong one he took like 300 damage this one three 350 whatever yeah maybe it's like 500 damage normally look 515 153 quick maths 362 damage only so a dragon hawk can actually survive with one life from double bats exactly one life if he has no damage from anything else 724 lol and that's because of devotion aura protection scroll and triple armor and griffins do pretty good damage on blady Now, this wasn't a very close game, but I guess it was maybe educational from both sides. So maybe we can still put it on YouTube and just kind of like talk about the, the macro aspect of, uh, of the game.